Hello, I'm Esther McGinnis, and UCU Extension Horticulturist and Director of the Master Gardener Program. We're going to be planting microgreens today. Microgreens are a nutritious and fun crop to grow. You can grow these indoors at any time of year. Now, common microgreens include radishes, kales, and I really like mustard because it has a little bit of zing to it. Now, we're going to start off with a clean container. For food safety purposes, it must be clean. Now there are a lot of different containers you can use. I'm using an aluminum roasting pan today. It just needs to be deep enough to include about an inch, inch and a half of potting soil. So that brings me to my media. You don't use garden soil. Instead, you would use clean potting soil that you would find at the store. Now I have pre-moistened this to make it a little easier to work with. And I'm going to fill this with about an inch, inch and a half of the potting soil. I'm going to smooth this out. Now, being careful not to compress it too much, but I'm just creating an even and uniform seed bed. All right, so I have, I've partly filled the container. Now next, we're going to sprinkle our seeds across the medium. Now with our radish seeds, we are going to be uh, seeding at a rate of about eight seeds per square inch. We're not going to physically count it, but instead we're going to try and just distribute it as evenly as possible across the media. Now, uh, the density will depend on the seed that you're using, but we want a fairly dense crop of this, and that's kind of how you grow microgreens. But I'm just going to take this spoon and I'm going to try and evenly distribute the seeds across the growing media. So about eight, about eight seeds per square inch. And you can certainly experiment with seed density. <clears throat> and see what works best for you. If it's too dense, you might find that um, you might have more mold growth. If it's not dense enough, then you won't get as high a yield. Now we don't cover the seeds with any potting soil. Instead, I'm gonna take another roasting pan and I'm gently gonna press those seeds into the potting soil um, without, without packing it down. We just want to ensure that the seeds have good seed to soil contact. Now next, we're going to water in the seeds. The seeds need um, moisture in order to germinate. So I'm using the spray bottle and I just want to ensure um, that it's evenly moist. Now this process is a little bit easier because I used a pre-moistened uh, potting soil. Next, we cover this to ensure uh, that there's high humidity. You can use a dome if your roasting pan comes with a dome. If it doesn't, you can use plastic wrap. I'm gonna use plastic wrap today. And I'm just gonna completely cover this. You would set your container near a window um, so it receives some sunlight and you want the temperature to be somewhere between 65 and 75. It's fairly forgiving. Uh, now after the majority of seeds germinate, you would take off um, the, um, the plastic wrap and then you would allow more ventilation uh, to prevent any molding. Uh, it, and then of course you'd have to check and make sure that the seedlings remain evenly moist. After about two weeks, you should have a nice crop of radishes. You would harvest that by you know, holding, you know, holding a clump of radishes with your hand and then trimming with scissors above the soil line. And you should have a pretty decent harvest after about two weeks. Um, just make sure that you rinse you rinse your, um, your microgreens and then you can add it to a salad. Um, it's a very nutritious and a very kind of zippy, spicy crop to grow. 
Here's a view of the seed density to help you as you plant. If you have any questions with respect to microgreens or gardening in general, please feel free to contact your local NDSU Extension agent. Thank you.